back to Further Solutions Academy. On this video, I'll be working on bearing and distance. In the previous video, I've explained what is called uh, bearing, which is the definition of bearing, and uh, different between the uh, similarity between um, compass bearing and 3D bearing with um, examples on them. And by the end of this video, you understand what is called bearing and distance. The outline are re reversa of bearing and the bearing and distance. Now, when we talk about reverse of bearing, it's very, very simple. Now, allow me to write some problems down, which we... Okay, let's look at this TV question. Permit me so that you can be able to see it very well. Now, you can pause it and write out the question. Okay, because of the ambition. The first one, I'm working on this, and also working on this. And also working on this. I will use that to explain conversion of um, uh, reversal of bearing. Now, let me talk about, um, let me please explain something. Solution. Before I start solving, we have this call from A to B. Now, this is a very important information at this point. Now, when we talk about from A to B, now we have what is called observer and objects observer and object now don't forget when you hear what from it means it's coming from what it's coming from a to b this is going to be what b now observer observer and here will be what objects now, please take note of this very well. Very, very well. It's very, very important because these are the words that are going to be playing around as far as bearing word problem. Another thing you need to understand also, you need to understand what is called due. This is called due. Now, here is called due north, and here is called due east. I mean, due west, rather. Due west. Now, these deal are very important because these are the words you are going to be playing around with as far as this part is concerned. Now, let me quickly explain this question to explain the um, reversal, meaning reversal of bearing. Now, look at this bearing. The bearing of 40 degrees south north. I mean, southeast is the same as the bearing of of um of forty degree southeast. Also, hope I'm not making any mistake. Hope the question is correctly stated. Yes, okay. southeast is same as that. Now, I think I repeat the question. Please, you can manage this. These are the options. Let's try to work on it. Now, if I'm talking about forty degrees southeast. This is what I'm going to do. 40 degree. Now, this one run here, this one run here, and this one run there, this one run there. Please take note of that. That is very, very important. Okay? And um, 40 degree, it means here will be 40. 40 degree. Now, that's 40 degree. What I will just do now is that... Um, 40 degree to that, which is going to be what? 40 degree. 40 of east. Now, what I'll just do here is that um, I'll be having what? Don't forget from here to here is 180. It means 180 minus 40 degree, which it will be equals to 140 degree. Now, it means here is three digit. I mean, compass bearing, and here is three digits. Three digits. Yeah. Now, those are the things we are working on. Please take note of this information very well. Now, because I've explained this in the previous video, the second one, solution to this second one, find the bearing of the points. X from Y, if the bearing of X 
from y to x is y of varying of y from here is this now at this point this is your what observer this is your what your object please when you hear word from that is very important because many students normally run into a lot of trouble from there from there now what i will just need to do i will have my word point like this is it bearing and um, i'm talking about two one ten one ten this is a three digit bearing here will be one one zero degree now i think uh from this is going to be x and um this is going to be what y now uh, at this junction we have what is called uh, alternate angle when you have something like this something like this something like this this and this are equal they are called alternate angle for your information from here to here is one thing from here to here will be um will be 70 take note of that okay now i'm talking about the bearing from here this is going to be what don't forget that this is going to be not 180 270 now look at this this is 90 from here to here is 90 90 and um, 210 that will be 20 it means here alone will be what 20 from here to here will be 20 now if this is 20 this place will be what 20 right now because i've explained what is called theta equals to theta corresponding to each other now and can you see they are corresponded to each other it means here is 20 20 plus 270 i'll be having 290 it means i'll be having some people we can do it 290 which is going to be what 270 plus 20 which is going to be what 290 degree or or you can do it this way from here to here is 180 from here to here is 210 it means i can also say that what 180 plus 110 which will be what 290 degree any one that is convenient for you you can go you are good to go it means from this is from what at this junction this is going to be sorry i'm going to rub this up on this point it will be from this is why from um from x to y now at this junction this will be what from i mean sorry yes from x to y from y to x please from y to x is what it's 270 now let's move on to the next one which is going to be uh i think with this it should be fine now look at this the bearing of a point a from a point b is this from this is going to be we are coming from b it means here will be p observer and objects very important now is this which is going to be 40 degree i just need to i just need to adjust my and bit okay my marker is going down okay this is going to be 42 degree okay now this is going to be what from i mean of a from b to which is going to be this is going to be b and this is going to be a now calculate the bearing of b from a now it means you are now it means from from uh b to a is zero degree now let's talk about this from here to here is is um 180 180 degree now don't forget the z angle here will be 42 
Now it means 180, 180 plus 42, which is 180 plus 42, it will be equals to 222 degree. It means from A to B, from A to B is 222 two, two degree, 222 degree. It's supposed to be on the question, on the option. 222. Two, two. Am I having 222 two there? Oh, I didn't write it. This is 222. Two, two. I'm so sorry. Yes, that is this. Now, I think you can see conversion of our, I mean, reversal of our bearing. Permit me to explain the bearing and this time. Let me rub this off, please. Okay, now, look at this problem. I will use this problem to explain bearing and distance. Now, mind you, this is a bearing, this is a point, and this is a point. This point is called loop X, this one is called Y. Now, there are two bearings, but between the two bearings, there is a particular distance, which is going to be what, 20 meter. Now, by so doing that, this is called bearing and distance. It means 50 meter apart from, I mean, away from each other. Now, I don't want to do much here. Let me just find the bearing of X from Y. Observer objects. Please note that it's very important. Observer from is an observer to is an what? Object. Now, um, let's try to work on this problem. Now, which this has explained to us bearing and distance. Now, what you just need to do, if I were you, I will redraw it like this. I will draw it like this by having 60 degree and 50 meter. And here is a point. And this place is called 120 degree. Now, what I will just do is that um, Now, this is a point, an um, invisible point, which is right angle triangle is being formed. That is the first thing I want to know. We are looking for the uh, bearing of what? What is the bearing of X to Y? Now, the bearing of X to Y, I don't need to do much here. Bearing of X to Y, it means from here to here is 60. Here is 180. Here is 180 degree, which is angle in a straight line. Now, don't forget what is called alternate angle. Alternate angle. This is equal to this, which what I've explained now, it means it to be 60. It means I'll be talking about um, um, 60, I mean 180 plus 60, which it to be zero and uh, it to be um, to be 240 or you can also do it this way by saying that um, 360 minus 120 which will be 240 anyhow that's convenient for you because out of 360 120 is be taken away it means bearing of x from y is 240 degree, which is going to be. Can you see? These are please, these are positive theory problems. All what you have been doing is being get I mean generated from you in lack positive theory. They master those things, they are very important. Okay, I can see a problem there. Before I end this section, please let's try to work on it and see how it is. Okay, look at this question. It's a very nice one that, uh, you know, I just saw it somewhere, you know, in a school like that. You are given this diagram. The, 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 the definition, define the diagram of this statement in the diagram WOX. W, o, this is going to be O, X is, WOX is 60 degree, uh, Y, O, X, Y. O X is what? Now, anytime you have 
something like this three points like o m half is always a triangle it, it means you're having now most cases the middle point is the what the concentrated angle please make note that can you see x is what we are concentrating with m and uh, please th those things are just elementary you need to understand those things by now think um, you need to understand now i just want to work on this particular problem it's a very thread it's a very technical question because what make it question technical i'm um, has to find the bearing of x from y what is the bearing of it means i'm observing what y to this that is what i'm working on now mind you this i've always talked about this z angle which is corresponding angle this will be 50 degree take note of that that should be very very correct now since this is 50 degree from here to here is 90 from this two point is 90 it means indirectly here will be 40 degree now and i know that from here to here is 180 now that is first thing i will do okay since I know that, I know that, um, okay, oh, it's not, it's almost, somewhat technical. Can I go that way? Okay, let me call this place, a whole of this place theta. Let me not even stress myself because it's a very technical part of it. Let me call it theta. Now, since I call it theta, don't mind you, I'll be having uh, 20 here. No, no, no. I'll be having... 40 here, I will be having 30. Everything become 70. Okay. Because the way I'm going that side is not okay for me. Now, I can answer that what? 30 plus what? 70 plus theta equals to 180. Uh, sum of angle in a triangle. This is sum of angle in a triangle. It means my theta equals to 180 minus 30 that will be 100 my theta equals to 80 degree hmm. it means here is 80 degree because the way i was going that time i may not be able to get something good now since i know that is 80 i mean 80 okay 80 from here to here to here Will be 180 plus uh, 40 that will be 220 it means from here to here is what 220 220 degree okay but i'm looking for the, i'm looking for the bearing of 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 x from y it means i'm observing from here now if that is the case 220 220 okay and um what should I do? I just need to work on 220, which is going to be 40. Okay. Now, if I have, I know that um, this is a straight line. This is a straight line. Here is 40. Here is 40. From here to here is 40. From here to here is 40. Okay. If I can get the hangu here, which is call it M. I can see that uh, 240 plus this minus 180 it means i'll be talking about um 180 sorry 80 degree plus 40 degree plus m equals to 180 i'm going a straight line this is a straight line okay it's very technical i can't believe it i have to think that way now my m will be equals to 180 minus uh 120 which will be what me yes 180 minus um hope i'm not making any mistake of my of 140 is 140 sorry 80 80 80 permit me to hope i'm not making any silly mistake oh sorry that is what i was looking at this is not serious this is not correct i can think of corresponding i mean alternate angle here 
if here is 50, here will be 50. Now, it means I can say that um, uh, 50, yes, I can say that 50, which is I can call it, um, I can call it 50. It means 50 plus, plus um, 90. Let me call this place alpha plus alpha equals to equals to um one eighty. Now that would be one forty plus alpha equals to okay equals to one eighteen minus one forty. This is going to be forty degree. Okay, here is forty degree. Here is 40 degrees. I think from here I can get the other one, which is going to be 40 degrees also. Which is going to be 40 degrees. Now it means I'm talking about 270. From here to here, it will be 270. From here to here, from here, sorry, this part will be 40. It means I'm saying that 40 years. Now, bearing, bearing of s from y is it will be 240 that will be 270 degree plus 40 270 plus 40 basically 270 no it will be sorry it will be it will be 18 plus 40 plus 180 degree yes which is going to be what um 120 120 plus this that will be what 300 300 degree now it means bearing x from y is what 300 degree that is the answer oh i'll be stopping here due to time in the next video i'll work extensively on what problems on bearing and distance don't forget to share and subscribe thanks for watching